Here's some notes on ascending spinal tracts. These are, of course, sensory tracts in the spinal cord. We'll divide into three groups, the dorsal column, shown here, the spinocerebellar tract, shown here, and the spinothalamic tract, shown down here. Let's start with the dorsal column. Its function is fine touch, proprioception, pressure, and vibration. First order neuron, you have a sensory nerve that enters the spinal cord via the dorsal root with the cell body in the dorsal root ganglion. It ascends ipsilaterally in the dorsal column and it synapses in the ipsilateral medulla. Second order neuron, it decusates at the medulla to the contralateral side. It ascends contralaterally in the medial lemniscus and synapses in the thalamus. Finally, third order, uh, the neuron then travels from the ventral posterior nucleus to the thalamus on the somatosensory cortex. Next, let's do the spinothalamic tract. The function here is crude touch and pressure, as well as pain and temperature. It can be divided into anterior and lateral segments, where anterior is crude touch and pressure, and lateral is pain and temperature. The first order neuron has a nerve that enters the spinal cord via the dorsal root with a cell body in the dorsal root ganglion. It ascends in the posterior lateral tract located at the tips of the dorsal horns, and it carries fibers in one or two levels above before synapsing in the dorsal horn. Then the second order neuron decusates at the anterior white commissure. It ascends contralaterally, and it synapses in the thalamus. The third order neuron travels from the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus to the somatosensory cortex. Lastly, let's look at the spinocerebellar tract. Its function is proprioception. The first order neuron is a sensory nerve from the Golgi tendon organs and muscle spindles. They enter the spinal cord via the dorsal root with a cell body in the dorsal root ganglion, like the other tracts. It synapses in the ipsilateral posterior horn. The second order neuron travels from the ipsilateral posterior horn to the cerebellum via the inferior and superior peduncles, and there is no third order neuron for the spinocerebellar tract.